Hey everybody, this is Dust for Dust and Gaming with episode 3, match number 2, with Burn here in Modern. Much like Nika 2 MCG, we're doing daily episodic matches of Modern here, particularly with Burn in this particular league. Don't forget, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, so this is Sandy Dog MTG's list from not this past weekend, but two weekends ago when Skewer first came out. Uh, the cut was two Skull Cracks and two Lightning Helixes in the main for, for Skewer the Critics. And I normally run 20 lands. He went, he has 19 with a Grim Lava Mancer in the main. And the sideboard, good split of Path to Exile, Rest in Peace, Skull Crack, Smash to Smithereens, Searing Blood, and Lightning Helix. Path comes in against the bigger creature decks, Rest in Peace against Graveyard decks, Skull Crack against anything with Life Gain or against Control. Smash comes in against anything you suspect with Artifacts, um, anything you suspect might have Chalice of the Void, um, various Affinity decks, Tron. Searing Blood comes in against the smaller creature decks, and then Lightning Helix when you're in racing situations, and then against control when you need to play a little bit more of an instant speed game and taking out your searing blazes. So, on to match number two. Uh, match number one we played against blue-white taking turns. We have certainly been playing some against some interesting decks of late. Um, the Phoenix uh, list we pl are playing in one of our other leagues. Uh, playing against Merfolk twice. I don't think I've seen that much Merfolk in like the last two months. <coughs> We saw uh, some of the leagues we've seen a teamer escape shift list with Hydroid Crisis. Um, it's been there's been some crazy stuff going on in uh, in modern and standard with the new set. Who would think that like one set would have such a large impact across multiple formats? So. Can we keep this hand? It is a little bit on the slower side, though. At least for burn. Mm. Please don't be ad nauseum. Still unsure of what's going on over there. For those of you who don't know, Ad Nauseam is probably Burn's worst matchup, even... I would say it might even be worse than Bogle's. It's pretty, pretty rough. Alright, so... Suspend... Yeah, yeah it's Ad Nauseam. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> so the problem with Ad Nauseam for Burn is they have so many ways to... Um, like this Phyrexian on life that they'll be playing, for instance. They have so many ways to kind of mitigate damage-based combat. Uh, between that and Angel's Grace, which just happened to coincide with their... Um, how their combo works. Uh, sleight of hand... They could just eas easily kill us next turn. Um, all they need is one more mana. If they have a nauseam already in play, and they get to flip their whole deck over and kill us. So, there's the one mana. Do you have the ad nauseam? Looks like the answer is you're fishing for it. And then just play ad nauseum, and since Phyrexian Unlife specifically says, um, I 
basically they draw their whole deck and then lightning storm us all right so sideboarding bring in these smashes we're gonna lightning helix and get these searing blazes out of our deck actually lightning helix on skull cracks in case they bring in fogs some versions have like darkness or ethereal haze in their deck to kind of blank a little bit of damage now I mean this is the kind of hand that can beat them if they don't have one of their fork sideboard copies of Leyline of Sanctity so And this is why I say this matchup might be even worse than Bogles, just because they have so many things that we hate to see out of their deck. They have a consistent turn four deck for the most part. They have Leyline of Sanctity in the sideboard. They have um, both Angel's Grace and Phyrexian Unlife to keep themselves from dying. And it's just, it's it's rough. I've certainly beaten Ad Nauseam, but it's it's not my favorite matchup in the world. Ah. Simeon Spirit God. They keep that on top. They kept Spirit Guide on top of their deck. Interesting. Does that mean a Pentad Prism is in our future here? Hmm. Skull Crack was a nice draw. Just missed that on damage rather needlessly there. <clears throat> Should have gotten in at least two more points of damage there. So, eight, six, This will present lethal. This means they have to have grace this turn. Pack, they have packed. Okay, you're still. They don't have the ability to do anything, so they're still probably dead here. But that said. kill themselves sure and then they die during 
All right, so presence of laboratory maniac still doesn't really change our game plan here. Ley line of sanctity is still a card. So we got a little bit lucky there. So with Ley Line of Sanctity. Is there any consideration to bring in Helix to be able to target Maniac? Probably not. This is one of those matchups that when I had Core Firewalker in my sideboard, I'd even board in Core Firewalker. Uh We draw a land here. Land, please. Sweet. Didn't mean give them a land deck. <laughs> uh. So our game plan is going to be Eidolon, Eidolon, and hope that's enough. Don't know on the draw if that's going to be quite enough here. Two cards on bottom. land, that's unfortunate. Especially a pain-free land. Feeling we're going to get unlife this turn. Well, we now know they have the grace. Do you have the combo? Presuming you wouldn't be too cute and you get the combo out of your deck, but just on the off chance. Oh, there's Lightning Storm. 
So I'll let them show the kill just for educational purposes. But Leyline of Sanctities, Phyrexian on Lyos, this is why this is such a rough matchup overall. And exile a bunch of Simeon Spirit Gads, cast Lightning Storm. They going for the cutesy one here. Anywho, so as good a matchup as Blue White taking turns is for us, uh, <laughs> um, Ad Nauseum is one of Burn's worst. I'd probably say it and Bogle's probably, maybe Soul Sisters are probably Burn's three worst matchups, give or take how, um, how you want to look at the matchups. But anyways, this has been Dust for Dust on Gaming with match number two of episode three. Thank you everyone for tuning in, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.